truth is that the smart board itself has very little to do with planning a good smart board lesson. It's true. Oh, don't get mad. The real magic happens in the smart notebook software. Today we're going to take a look at five tips and tricks that will make using that notebook software even easier for you and your students. And the first tip is, you don't even need the smart board. Where are you going? I quit. Real professional. Well, as I said, all you really need is one of those. Let's take a look. Tip number one is that you can plan a great lesson using the notebook software that comes with the smart board. So let's open that up. To show you the second tip, we first need to grab a picture out of the gallery. You can get to the gallery by clicking on the little picture frame on the left hand side. That's really where the smart board stores all of its clip art and different interactive activities. For right now, we just need a picture, so I'm just going to click on the word pictures, and I'm going to grab a picture here of Abraham Lincoln, and drag him out onto the main stage. Alright, now that we have something to work with, I can show you the really cool tool called the Magic Pen. The Magic Pen, it's a little pen with three stars around it, does three different things, which is pretty cool. The first thing is that anything you write on a picture or on a page will disappear. So it's kind of like having disappearing ink. You draw something out like an arrow, and you wait about mm, 10 seconds or so, and it'll disappear. Now using that same tool, the magic pen, if I draw a circle around any part of the picture, it will actually spotlight that picture, like you see here. It'll dim the screen, and it'll just focus on the one piece that we drew a circle around. You can move it around using the blue outline of the circle, and you can also, if you pull on the inside of the circle, you could stretch it to make it a larger or a smaller spotlight. Click the red circle or square and it'll disappear. All right, so using the same pen, the magic pen, make a square around any part in that same document. And you'll see that it actually will zoom in all the way onto that picture, giving you a much larger view. And clicking the red will again close that up. So the magic pen, three things. If you write on it, invisible ink. If you do a circle, it'll do a spotlight. And a square will zoom in. Pretty cool stuff. Now, the next tip I want to talk to you about is the gallery. It took us a while to dig through all those different pictures to find this particular picture of Lincoln. I had to go to the gallery, had to go to pictures, and then I had to go find that picture and pull it out to the stage. Well, the gallery actually has a folder called My Content. If I drag the picture of Lincoln into the My Content folder, I'll have it every single time I load up the program. And I won't have to dig through different menus to grab it. It'll always be in Gallery, My Content. Saves a lot of time. Simply click Gallery, My Content, Pictures, and there he is. Make sure to save all your favorites inside of the My Content folder. All right, so tip number four. If you wanted to import a PDF or a Word document on a Macintosh, you could actually just take the document and drag it onto the main page of the Smart Notebook file. It'll take a moment or two to convert it, but as soon as it's done, it'll capture each individual page as an image that you can mark up and manipulate as you wish. Importing a document on a PC is slightly different. From that program, either PDF or Word, you go to the Print menu and you select from the printer list Smart Notebook Print Capture, and you say OK just the same way you would printing it a regular file. It takes a few moments to process those pages and it actually takes images of each one and inserts them as a separate page in the Smart Notebook file. But again, you can manipulate all the material the same way you did on the Mac. And tip number five has to do with erasing. So here I have a marked up page, lots of different things over there. And if I want to erase it, I can click on the eraser button and I can simply just, you know, erase like I normally would. But it takes forever. If you draw a circle around all the stuff you've written with your eraser, and then you tap once in the center, it all goes away. The only thing that stays is the document itself and any lines that you've drawn or any text that you've typed. But all your handwritten notes will disappear and you'll be ready for the next class. And it saves a ton of time. And those are five tips for using the smart board.